we are in Ogden at Social Axe Throwing and we're with Braden here. He is the owner of this venue. We're excited to investigate this. Um, there is this creepy basement downstairs and the history. If anybody knows, the city of Ogden, Utah has lots of secrets. But Braden's gonna go ahead and give us some information about this awesome venue, as you can see behind us. Yeah, so thanks for watching everybody. My name is Braden. I'm with Social Axe Throwing. Um, we invited these guys down to come check out our spot. This building is super old and cool and unique, but at the same time a little bit creepy because it's so old and unique. And so it's got a lot of history to it. Um, I know, I'm, if I remember right, it was built, I'm thinking 40s, maybe 30s. Uh, and it used to be, at one point, we had, it might actually be even be older than that. I know at one point it was a... Uh, um, Tire shop for back in the day. You used to be able to come around town, drive your car, and go right back out in the front, right onto Washington Boulevard with your car. It was a produce and grocery store at some point. And then um, I think there was a gray area there where there used to be a hotel up, stop, up top and it had some other unique stuff going on. If, you, if anybody's familiar with the Ogden history, it's got a lot of matching similar matching stories. Stuff, so, and yeah. there's a lot of weird things like this over here um it used to be hallways to the other building yeah. we have upstairs that apparently was a hotel and everybody knows that back then you paid by the hour if you know what i mean so you have those activities there and the basement usually connects with the city of ogden with salt lake city there's like tunnels underground so we're going to investigate downstairs and see if we can put two and two together and find out if there was really a catacomb at that point. Well, this is the basement. What I've never noticed earlier when we came down here is that the walls are pretty consistent and they look exactly the same on both sides pretty much. Um, but once we get to this corner, where we have these weird stairs that lead to nowhere. Um, the wall is more of an original wall that was put up a long time ago. You can see like the rocks coming out from where the cement was. And I just want to say that there is a possibility that this went through at one point. Uh, I'm not entirely sure because I'm looking over here and it could be a structure thing or not, um, but the stories of the catacombs in Utah is that they connect from Salt Lake City to Ogden and maybe other cities that we don't really know of, but a lot of illegal activity has happened. We had a lot of gambling, we had uh, brothels, we had um, alcohol probably back when the prohibition happened. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the age of this building is quite yet. Um, hopefully we can get an answer through an EVP session. And look, there's like little kids stamps over here if you can see. That's weird. Yeah. So, there must have been kids down here at one point, maybe chilling. The family, whoever knows what it used to be at the time. It's a great opportunity to kind of start asking the spirits that do reside here to make some noise. So, I don't know why, but I feel really drawn to this area. So I'm gonna start here, since it's the entrance on this end. If there's anybody here with us right now or above, can you shuffle and, or can you make a noise for us? Maybe something that you've done daily. How about try to walk? I could probably hear you walk. There are pipes here. You can make a noise by tapping on it. Do you guys hear footsteps upstairs? This has to be one of Ghost Vlog's most audible footsteps ever captured. 
Mind you, the whole crew is in the basement with us. No one is above us and the doors are locked. These footsteps happen a little after I ask the spirit to walk or make a noise. Is that directly on top of us, Brayden? It sounds like it. Is it all locked upstairs? It is all locked upstairs. If that was you, thank you. Let's see. Maybe you want to communicate to us by EVP, which is the Electronic Voice Phenomenon. It's a recorder that we use, and we just talk and then we play it back to see if we can hear um, those that died talk back to us. And I think it would be a great opportunity to do that. So, do you hear the steps? Dude, that sounds like it's right above. It does sound like, yeah. That was loud. Yeah. That was super loud. Well, it sounded like they went all the way to the stairs, but yeah. nobody's at the stairs and the door's not shut, and so that was weird. That was weird. Let's go to the stairs fast. Not that way. <laughs> Ladies first. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, so it sounded like they went like and they stopped right here. Yeah. That's the stairs right there. Got nothing. But yeah, it's all locked. So I'm try to turn it back on. So I went from full battery to like no battery. Here I'll show you in a second. I'm trying. <laughs> so it, it is said that when your batteries are full, they try to get energy from something and usually they drain batteries because look my batteries all the way down to zero do you see that and they were brand new batteries so i just put them in the car creepy all right let's see if it'll let me try to hear it do you have a name It doesn't let me go past that. Yeah, it's completely dead. I just put batteries in it. So we're gonna do another option, which is the Equifox. Okay, I'm gonna set this right here. Can you tell me, are you a male or female? Are you a male or female? What city are we in? Do you guys pick up words? Like Ogden? Yeah, it did say Ogden. Okay. Um, what year is it? What's your favorite color? Do you know the owner's name? Axe. It said Axe. <laughs> I just got weird chills. Oy. So you know this place is an Axe venue now. Are you, do you know you're dead? How many 
of you are here. How many spirits are here with us right now? Nine. How many spirits are here with us right now? Nine. What happened down here? Yeah, my battery just died. Right there? Yeah, as soon as I turned the camera back on, it was at 65. Yeah. And it dropped down below 10. 10. So. Good thing Do we have it. you feel that cold gust of air? Yeah. Right here? I just got the craziest goosebumps just now. Yeah, my head, my hair. You're back tingly? Of my head. Yeah. Oh my gosh. In this moment, I realized we got a cold draft the size of a child. It affected our bodies by giving us the chills. Could there be children residing at this location? Oh, I feel that. I feel that. It, it's, it's cold right here. Yeah. Maybe we're coming in contact with a child that likes to play over here. The device I'm using is the Echovox right here. As you can see, it's on airplane mode, so that is all I'm using right now. Is there anybody buried down here? What's your name? Prison? Have you been to prison? Or is this your prison? I have a headache. I have a really big headache right now. Am I being influenced with a headache? Did this spirit die of a head injury? Right here. Did something happen to you on your head? It's weird. I don't know why I have a headache. Are you making me have a headache? Yeah. Is this a portal? Ooh, I just got like the goosebumps. Is this a portal? Portal. Okay, so that would make sense as to why our equipment has turned off. A spirit confirmed there is a portal in this spot, which makes sense as to why our equipment's had battery drainage and malfunctions. In this moment, my echo box gets shut down a second time and have to restart the recording session. Like this one just did. <sighs> oh, we sucker. Oh, I have to start it all over. It's so crazy. How many spirits are here? Lots? Yeah. Is this your prison? Yeah. Oh my god, I feel someone touching me right here. Are you touching me right now? Are you touching me right now?
What if I step away from the line? floor right here for some reason and I don't know why. Last time I did that, I laid it right on the same spot of where somebody had actually had a heart attack. Oh wow. Well. Right? Pretty close to the same spot and I didn't even know. But right now I have like the worst headache like behind my eyeball on my right right eye. And it's because of this area right here. It definitely feels more cloudy to me, like right here, like right here, like right here on the front of my forehead. I feel it. Yeah. So, I don't know, but that's my opinion. That's what I think. And oh my God. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, something poked my leg. Something just poked. Did you just poke my leg? It just like poked me right here. Just a big poke. I think there's children in here. I don't know. I was just telling somebody to touch me and it took me a minute. Dude, that. I got the goosebumps right now. <laughs> yeah. It's not very common when I get touched. We had an intense investigation at Social Axe Throwing in Ogden, Utah, experiencing equipment malfunctions, cold spots, footsteps, and being touched. This location is absolutely haunted. <laughs> 